Hello there. So the first thing we need to do before we get started on the long video is get Blender set up to where we can model at scale for Unreal Engine. So I am here inside just a regular third person template project uh, because I'm going to need to get this mannequin. You can use either ones. You can use the new ones. I like the old one. I'm going to use Manny. We've been through a lot. He's always been there for me. He's treated me well. So I'm going to go find him in my content browser. You can get this. You don't have to create a new third person template. If you have a project you're working on and you have the mannequin in there, you can just export that one. Or if you got another character that's about the same height, then uh, if you want to use that one, should work just fine. I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to right click. And under asset actions, we can export him to the desktop. So I'll just leave it called that. You can leave all this just like it is. Export, there we go. And with that done, I can minimize that. Now I can go into Blender. So this is Blender 3.3 at the time of this recording. It's, I think, the most recent. It's the most recent I'm willing to use. <laughs> so I'm just gonna delete everything. Oh, uh, if you're unfamiliar with Blender, if you tap A, like if you have if you have a bunch of stuff in this scene instead of clicking everything in order to delete it you just tap a once in order to select everything or a twice to deselect everything I'm gonna get that little add-on thing that puts the buttons pressed down here but for right now this uh, will work and uh, once you have everything selected if you tap X on the keyboard or the delete key this will pop up and boom yep I want to delete everything so up here file import we want to import that fbx that we just exported from unreal so click that it'll bring up a drop down in the desktop find my mannequin import it and it's kind of a hideous mess oh to pan around i don't know how familiar everybody is with blender but if you pan want to click if you click the middle mouse button it pans around your object or if you hold shift and middle mouse button, you can do that. I suppose this is orbit, not pan. This is panning. But y'all get what I'm saying. All right, but we don't want this skeleton on it. And I don't know what's up with the texture. But we don't want the skeleton. So let's select one of the bones of the skeleton. See, it's actually two different pieces. The skeleton and the thing are not together. So I'm going to click on the skeleton, which are these little joint thingies X on the keyboard and delete that and get ready because boom he's huge <laughs> so this is not Unreal Engine scale but we can set him back to it by highlighting him S on the keyboard for scale I kind of have a southern accent so if it comes out like I'm saying F I'm not it is S like school or other S words gonna tap that and on the number pad, I'm going to put point zero 0.01 and then enter. And it did nothing. Why you do nothing? All right, you? Maybe it's point 0.1. No, it's point zero 0.01, right? Why is there two? I was wondering why it looks. What is there happening? Oh, the different LODs. That's dumb. Okay, if yours is glowing like mine was, he's probably got just multiple different LODs. <laughs> okay, so the, the you'll hit S point zero one on the keyboard and put him at one percent the actual height. So this is Unreal Engine Scale. And we can show you this by going to File, exporting an FBX back out, put it on the desktop also, and I'm going to call this Blender Manny. Now over here on the, this side, Details Panel, whatever you want to call this, I'm going to hit Selected Objects, and then scrolling down under Geometry, under Smoothing, we want to do Face. And then we'll export that FBX. 
and there's that bad boy so let's go into unreal again import and just make sure I didn't get numbers wrong we'll import that blender mini everything's fine just like this he doesn't have to be a skeletal mesh uh, there he is Ugh, why you do two of them but yeah see now he is same height ready to go textured kind of weird but you know what it's a good look for him I think so now whenever we have a new project so we'll just go back and create a new one real quick I don't want to save once I get rid of everything like we did earlier I can just go import FBX and then I have my blender many ready to go so that whenever I want to model props to use inside Unreal Engine there he is it's I can just as a demonstration real quick I can make floor pieces and I can make walls that'll be the right height everything that we'll need set up so that is going to just about wrap up this oh no 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 there's one more thing we need polygon so if you're familiar in the blender area you know about Andrew Price who doesn't um, he has a website called polygon now polygon has a blender add-on if you go to Google blend polygon blender add-on click this first one make sure it says polygon.com blender and then in here there is a blender add-on and they have all kinds of free materials the free materials are what we're going to be using when we model when we model our stuff so if you want to download that save it to your desktop I got one already right here so I can show you when you're ready to install an add-on into blender you'll just go into file oh no it's edit <laughs> edit all right and preferences so edit preferences add-ons install you can just click and then go find that file you don't have to unzip it you don't have to do anything you just select it and then install add-on modules install hey it did it again all right and then once you have done that you should be able to pop up right here the 3d view polygon add-on you want to check that box if it's not if you're not seeing it just type in Paul polygon it's not p-o-l-l -L like I always try to put it's p-o-l-i-i -I. so just click that make sure it's enabled and then with your mouse cursor inside this viewport if you tap in on the keyboard your little toolbar will pop open and right here is uh, hang on I already did this what are you doing you might have to restart blender apparently <laughs> I don't know why oh there we go and they have a bunch of free assets so if you type in the search bar just free then they have all these things that you can use for free you can filter them too. We're going to mainly be using the textures. So, just as a little example, you can just hit apply. Oh, and then if you hold Z on the keyboard, it brings up this wheel. This is a shading viewport display. If we go to material preview, then you'll see it's got that material already applied. We didn't have to do anything else to it, just click that button. So this is where they got all kinds of stuff. They got like wood boards and floors and walls and all kinds of fun stuff. If you want to look around this and mess around with it, it's really great. Really helped out. We won't use all of these textures. Uh, in fact, we'll probably end up using some of them just to kind of scale a texture in here and then use some of the Unreal Engine textures. But there are some in here that we will use. Like I like this floor. Well, I'm taking up too much of your time. Anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this one. The next video we upload will be the the full beginning to end long video. I'm imagining it's probably going to be like a four or five hour video. <laughs> Just so to prepare yourself. <laughs> so I will see y'all 
when that is ready, which shouldn't be too long. Like, a couple days maybe, so see you then. Bye.